At 6 o'clock, we get UTEP, who's 0-2, Toronto Liberty, who's 2-0. Liberty is favored by 23 points on ESPN+. Plus. Skyway Locklear has gone 33-46, of going for 410 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Javon Jackson's had 30 carries from the ground for 112 yards. And Cam Thomas had 12 catches for 170 yards and a touchdown. Caden Salter's gone 32 of 52, thrown for 498 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Quentin Cooley on the ground had 28 carries for 221 yards and three touchdowns. And Treon Sibley has had 10 catches for 264 yards and a touchdown. Liberty's 1 0 against UTEP all time. The first time they played was last year in 2023. And uh, Liberty won 42 28 at UTEP. Um, both these teams are coming off rough weeks. Uh, it, in a way. Okay, I know Liberty's 2-0, but I'll explain. Uh, UTEP's coming off arguably the lowest point of their entire season. Brand new head coach, you expected things to go a little bit rough for a season. I don't think a lot of people expected to lose to Southern Utah in overtime. That was a rough one to drop, especially with a lead at half over Southern Utah. It's Southern Utah, guys. It shouldn't be that hard, and that might be the lowest point UTEP reaches all season. And if they didn't win that game, I don't know how many games UTEP is actually going to win this year. But then you cut the Liberty. And Liberty won a thriller against New Mexico State. And like on one hand, they were a big winner last week. They easily could have dropped that game against New Mexico State and they would be basically out of the playoff conversation entirely. Um and it would become Conference USA would basically drop out of that playoff conversation entirely. The only undefeated Conference USA team would have been left was Louisiana Tech and they're probably going to lose to NC State this week. So Conference USA would have likely been out after one week. After two weeks. Um, but they were able to find a way on the road to beat New Mexico State. It was impressive. And arguably, that's their hardest game for the rest of the year, right? Um, maybe Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky looked decent last weekend. A lot of people forgot about because they got their butts kicked by Alabama. But they are probably Liberty's biggest threat in Conference USA. That being said, I think they're a big loser from last weekend because of the Northern Illinois upset over Notre Dame. Before you had really one or two teams to worry about, right? You had you had Boise State out in the West, and then you had Memphis in the American, right? Those were your two massive worries, right? And Boise State lost to Oregon. And while it was a close loss, it is still a loss. And so that was a big thing for Liberty fans. Ooh, if that was the only thing that happened last weekend, you would have been cooking, right? Um, it's unfortunately not the only thing that happened last weekend because Northern Illinois upset Notre Dame and then suddenly you have the math thrown into it just like that because keep in mind <laughs> the Mac if Northern Illinois finishes the season undefeated Northern Illinois is the playoff team so like as much as you're like if you're Liberty if you're just like all we got to go is 12 and 0 nope because all you have to go is all you do have to do is not go 12 and 0 right like you need other things now to happen because Northern Illinois upset Notre Dame. And now there's plenty of things that could trip up Northern Illinois along the way, right? NC State's in a couple of weeks. That could easily trip them up. The Toledo and Bowling Green are both pretty good MAC programs. They could trip them up. And you're hoping, and you're going to be hoping and praying that, um, that someone beats Northern Illinois. But on the other hand, if you're Liberty, another thing that's going to hurt you know, is if Memphis beats Florida State this week. Because then you're suddenly watching Memphis. You need Memphis to lose, right? Because if Memphis now finishes undefeated, now Florida State's not a phenomenal football program, but it is by far a better out-of-conference win than you're going to have the entire season. Remember, you've played two of your out-of-conference games already. App State is not going to move the needle that much. Florida State might for Memphis. So if, if Memphis wins this game, suddenly you're going you're gonna to be on watch for a Memphis and you need a Northern Illinois upset. Liberty was a big loser this weekend because not only that happened, Tulane emerged as a possible threat. UNLV looks like a competent team in the Mountain West. And it's looking like, not to mention teams in the Sun Belt, like James Madison or Texas State that could absolutely make runs. Um, it just looks like it's going to be a really hard year in the group of five. And when you're in the weakest conference in the group of five, where it looks like not a lot of teams are going to be making bowl games from your conference this year and that they've looked really rough, not a lot of chances to add on to those wins. Not a lot of chances to add on to that resume. Um, it's it's going to be hard. You need to be the only group of five team undefeated. That is your only argument. Because if there is another one, they're going to take that one. So Liberty, you got to be worried. Because you got to be looking around and hoping for teams to lose. UTEP is not going to give Liberty a fight. Um, 
Liberty had a rough game against New Mexico State. I expect them to have a bounce back one. Give me Liberty to kick UTEP's butt and cover.